I mean, I'm not gay, but Orlando Blue. He's just too good looking. I'm in overshare again. I mean, I've overshared again. I mean, hey, look, what about uh, Moby Dick? Famous, greatest American novel ever written, probably, I'd say, right? Moby Dick, a book of fiction, right? But based on a true story. That it's a book, an incident about a whaling ship. That, you know, that some, I'll digress a little, actually. Do you know what's something about whales? They have retractable penises. <laughs> it's true. They do. They do. They have retractable penises. I know this because I scuba dive. I scuba. I get up. <laughs> you, I scuba dive. Hey, it's just natural history. I'm just telling you. You know, I, I get that. Get up close with the creatures. I find out about them. I'm kind of like a sexy Jacques Cousteau or something. <laughs> anyway, the, the whale penis retracts like it's going in back into an envelope. <laughs> It's like, it's like your manhood going into an envelope. It's like how I feel when I mail the alimony check. Just, you know, uh, there it goes. Nah, nah, screw it. Give her the money. I don't care. Uh, look, I really don't. She's lovely. She can have it. I, uh, oh, that's not legally binding if I say that, is it? Eh, yeah, I was lying. Everybody else is lying. I'll just lie as well. That, see, the big issue is that uh, the phrase book, the, the, you know, the Million Little Pieces book, it's billed as a memoir. And that's what everybody's upset about, because it's billed as a memoir. What about Memoirs of a Geisha? <laughs> By Arthur Golden? I'm pretty sure Arthur is not a Japanese woman's name. I don't... <laughs> I don't think Arthur Golden's ever been a geisha. I think he... I think he made it up. And the, and the movie is worse. It's set in Japan. The lead actresses are Chinese. <laughs> and it was shot in Burbank. <laughs> Again, I don't know if that's true, but nobody else is telling the truth. I'm not going to do it. I just make stuff up and say it on TV like it's the truth. I'm like Fox News. <laughs> Better be happy here at CBS, because you ain't going anywhere else. <laughs> now, listen, I, I, I don't want to upset anybody here, but there's one book that everybody references when they need help. And it's controversial to mention this book. A lot of people have a lot of faith in it, but I'm going to mention it. The Dictionary. <laughs> there's so much crap in that book, I can't believe it. There's no way there's that many words. Come on! They just make words up to make it look all big and important. It's completely preposterous. <laughs> what am I, some kind of simpletonian that I believe all of that? Take your dictionary and stuff it in your twack. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I just made up the word twack. You don't have to bleed it. It's not a real word. You don't have to bleep twack. You just made it up. Isn't it? I think we'll keep it. Shall we keep it as a cuss word or as a real word? Cuss word. Yeah. From now on, it's a cuss word, but before that, it's not a cuss word. So if I say it now, you have to bleep it. Twack. Right, bleep that. <laughs> see how stupid this is? Do you see what I mean? The people, people have very subjective views of the truth. For example, if you read the book uh, Angela's Ashes by Frank McCourt, right? Now, Frank McCourt writes a book, Angela's Ashes, about his horrible life growing up in Ireland. Malachi McCourt, his brother, writes books about how great it was growing up in Ireland. They're brothers! <laughs> they grew up in the same house! And Frank McCourt's all going... And Malachi McCourt's... <laughs> Truth is subjective. It's how it affected you, not how it affected someone else. See what I'm saying? Like, you take two kids to the beach, right? One of the kids sees a wave and runs towards it, all happy. Ooh, it's a wave. All right? And one of the other kids sees the wave and runs away, terrified. Same wave. Two kids run towards it, and they, I'm always the second kid running away. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I'm 43, and it's my son I'm with. <laughs> even, even documentaries are tricky, you know, because the documentary directors, right, they choose what you see. 
and they sometimes reenact events. They, you know, they use editing and camera tricks and Lord, you know, they, they change the, that March of the Penguins, for example, <laughs> wasn't really penguins at all. <laughs> it, was, um, it was midgets and tuxedos, wasn't it? <laughs> Just to... <laughs> Also shot in Burbank. <laughs> At the same time as Memoirs of a Geisha. They also, the midgets and tuxedos, they worked in Memoirs of a Geisha. They played the, the geishas in the background. But there was, they were trying to save money so they didn't have background. They just had midgets standing next to real actors so that the real actors looked like they were standing way in front of the midgets. It's all in, it's all in my book of lies about filmmaking. Anyway, the James Frey book, it's kind of, it's a huge scandal. It's like that Millie Vanilli thing years ago. Remember that? <laughs> People were mad because it wasn't two good-looking German black guys that sang the song. It was an ugly German white guy that sang the song. It was the same song. It was a problem. You know, it, there's so many lies in the media. It was like, remember that whole myth about the female orgasm? <laughs> Man, what a lot of crap that was. It, it's possible for women to enjoy sexual intercourse. <laughs> I'm glad we're over that crap. Anyway, they... well, I am anyway. Uh, the concepts of truth can be debated, right? There are certain inalienable truths. If you don't believe in gravity, it doesn't matter. Gravity doesn't care. You know, it'll just drop you anyway. It doesn't matter. Some things are absolutely the truth. Other things, discuss. Do you want to really know the truth, right? Do you think before you ask the question. You know, does my ass look big in this dress? Do you really want to know the truth? You can't handle the truth. The truth is, the truth is your ass may already be big. The dress doesn't make it look bigger. And may, maybe you shouldn't be wearing a dress if you're a guy. Maybe, maybe the dress makes your balls look big. I don't know. Worldwide.